Hey guys, I'm finally back, bringing you Balogen 12 today, a peated Highland Scotch whiskey from Edgard Hour Distillery. Old Rosso Sherry cast matured, has strength at 57.8% alcohol. Is this going to bring the same amount of peat like an Isla does? Who knows? But I can say that this is going to be a very thick whiskey, as most Edgard Hours are. Look at that dark color. Glad to be back. Hope you enjoy the review. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm in the new house, finally get to record again. I have nothing in this house right now, so I'm back to the old trusty black table. But what I do have today is Balogen 12, a peated Highland Scotch from Edgar Dower Distillery. I am very excited for this. This is my first peated Highland, so let's waste no time getting to that nose. All right, let's see what we got. So initially, a very subdued smoke. Balchin malts are 50 ppm's, not less is their exact quote. So I can tell it's just going to be a nice layering of peat on top of the rest of the notes. That's going to be nice. That's a, like a... This is a note that's hard for me to describe, but what I'm trying to convey is like a sour, vinegary, like stewed fruit mash. Very fruity with a smidge of vinegar on there. It's not like ew, gross vinegar, but it's just like a fermented fruit. Not a bad flavor note, but just something that's hard for me to convey. And there's the old Highland grain, some raisins. It's... I'm getting a little more of those light Highland pops. This smoke is almost impossible to smell on the nose, which I think if anybody out there is like scared, quote unquote, to get a smoked whiskey... Go find a uh, Balachin because I honestly cannot find the smoke in the nose right now, even though it is 50 ppm's, which is the same as Lefroy 10. A little nice oak spice in there. A really nice, well balanced nose. I think I'm going to give the nose. I'm going to give the nose right now because it's a peated Highland, a three and a half. It's a good nose, but I kind of expected to have more of a smoke note in there. It's not. Like, it's bad, but because it is a peated Highland, I want to smell that smoke, and I don't. So I'm going to cut a little bit of the points off there. So three and a half for the nose. All right, palette time. Before we do that, this color is fantastic. And just like typical Edgerdower, very slow legs. This is going to be a nice, syrupy, viscous whiskey. Let's get center mouths right now. There it is. So the peat and smoke being almost invisible in the nose completely comes right back and punches you right in the mouth. That 57% cast strength is just wham. That was a smoky pepper fruit bomb. And I'm getting the, the darker red fruits like you just threw it into a fire and took them right back out. Like not too much in the smoke, but it's a really good layering. You can definitely tell right now you're drinking this uh, peated whiskey. That was a big, hefty bomb. The finish is going to be very, very nice and very long. This is a whiskey you can sip on very slowly. The cast strength plus this peat is just phenomenal. So let's get the second sip in here and see how all the flavors come in. I absolutely love all those so sherry. I got a really nice caramel sweetness in there. And actually, sorry, that cast strength's hitting me. This is a super syrupy whiskey. It's almost as if a Campbelltown and an Isla had a baby, and this is what it was. Very sweet, caramel, briny, like, cookie going on right now. Kind of like a Springbank in Oloroso. It is super salty in a great way. It's just, you get the salt, you get the sweetness, it's a perfect combo. And then that smoke just sits in the back of your throat, just saying, hey, guess what? I am peated. And this is crazy because the nose does not say, I have a lot of peat in here. But this palette is really, really good for that. Now, I did say this in the nose portion. I did recommend this for people that are scared to drink any peated whiskeys based on the nose. For the palate, maybe back off a little bit. This is actually a hard-hitting peated. Let's do one more sip. Just amazing. Really orangey oak spice as well every time i get a sip of this i'm getting a new note and that right there nice pop of like honeys and cherry so so good this I, edgard hour makes really phenomenal whiskeys however we'll get into that later but the the price of these are a little higher but man if you can afford to just buy a nice bottle of edgard hour do it 
you are not going to be disappointed because they are super good whiskeys. For this palette, I'm going to give this thing a four and a half. It is great right now. This finish is very, very long lasting. It's almost like I had an Octomore. I feel like when I'm talking, I'm just like breathing fire, but in a really good way, in the sense that the smoke is lasting so long and digging its teeth into my tongue. And I'm, it's also very briny and sweet at the same time. This is a fantastic finish. And I can tell for the past like two and a half minutes or so, it's just not going away. And I'm picking off some of those plums and grains the Highland gives you, but also all of that smoke and actually a little bit of some meatiness like you would get from like an Ardbeg peat. This is a very, very good finish. I'm going to give the finish on this guy a five. It, I, you know, I always talk about how I love my finishes long. This is up there in one of my longest finishes I've had. And Edgedower seems to be able to do that pretty often because I think it's because the body of this whiskey is so thick and the cast strength definitely helps with that. It carries it through and lets it just, nothing gets diluted. It's so awesome. Five on the finish for this Edgedower. Talk about value for a second. It is a 12 year old scotch, but it's from Edgedower. They only produce 100,000 liters of whiskey a year. So the supply is very small, but the craft is excellent. It's at $180 that I got it for. That is a bit steep, especially for a 12 year, but if you can afford it, what is in this bottle seriously just knocks your socks off. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is very, very good. Would I like to pay less for this? Of course, I think a really perfect price point for this particular whiskey might be $160, but at 180, from what I got from this experience, I'm gonna give that a four. I think it's very, very good. Yes, the supply is low, but you're gonna pay for whiskeys that are hard to find, but in this case, it's hard to find and it's extremely good, unlike Eagle Rare 10. So overall, 17 out of 20, very solid score, very good whiskey. If you have a chance to try Edger Dower, I would recommend it. If you have a chance to try Balachin, recommend it for sure, but only try the Balachin if you actually do like already peated eyelids because the nose may say it, it isn't peated. The nose is very, very tricky. I did not get a whole lot of peat smoke out of it, but the palate is another animal. It is going to punch you in the mouth in a good way if you like your peated whiskeys. I'm gonna say this right now. My wife is not going to like this bottle, but let's see her reaction anyway. All right, welcome back. It's been a while. It's been like a pretty busy seven weeks for us, huh? Yeah. I have warned the viewers. So I'm gonna warn you, you will not like that. That is a smoky whiskey. So we know you don't like most whiskeys, let alone the smoky ones. But give it a sniff anyway, because I thought that I didn't get much smoke out of the nose. Do you get any smoke out of that nose? I do. You do? Yeah. It was super subtle for me. I don't know if it just hit me the right or wrong way, but I didn't get a whole lot of it. Okay, there you go. Every nose is different. So let's see your reaction on this. It's not going to be good, but let's see for funsies. Oh, oh, that's gross. Does it burn a lot? It burns a lot too, huh? Oh. It's 57.8% alcohol. Oh, yes, that's very syrupy, that's smoky. Not, that's Is it the worst good. one you've ever had? That's down there. Oh, it's down there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah okay, well, good. hey, thanks for watching. It's good to be back. If you're not subscribed yet, consider doing so. Like this video, give it a like. I will see you guys next time. Later.